Nirili, Our Practices, is a documentary based on tradition, culture, and hereditary practices by the forefathers of Pisami villagers, which is passed on to generation after generation. This documentary event has taken place at various important places at Pisami village itself by the villagers of different groups and individuals with the motive to preserve and promote the rich and unique culture and traditional practices. Pisami village is an ancestral Sumi Naga historical warrior village situated in the beautiful hilly part of eastern Nagaland of northeast India. Early in the morning as the cock crows, the villagers make fire and a group of women folk wearing beautiful traditional attires singing rice pounding song saying this is the way our forefathers does in the past On the other hand, we can see some women husking the rice as a sign of helping each other in preparing rice beer, which is a traditional drink of the Nagas, which they take it with meat as lunch and go to fields early every day. Meanwhile, the man folks sharp their dows and get prepared to go to field for the yearly routine. As the sun rises early, the children and women folk go to the nearby spring to fetch the water which is being carried by traditional bamboo vessel. This spring water is 200 meters just below the village and believed to be the purest and cleanest spring water in the village that flows continuously throughout the year. Cultivation 
or shifting cultivation is initiated. For this job, mostly men folks are involved by way of cutting down the fresh and thick jungles with different parties and individual helping each other to finish the initial cutting process. After the trees are cut down, the field is kept to dry up completely for two to three months, after which it is burned to ashes to start cultivation of various crops, which falls usually in the month of January and February every year. the crop grows like maize, paddy fields, etc., the villagers are formed into groups to help each other to clean up their fields through the routine system. completely till the harvest during winter time. Traditionally, the existence of head hunting was very much popular amongst the Nagas, of which the Sumis are considered to be a mighty warrior tribe, and Pisami village is also one among them. Some of the reason behind head hunting was due to the land dispute among the tribes, and to show the neighbors of their pride and also to show the might to their enemies. <laughs> Taking the revenge of their fellow men by occupying the lands to establish the villages. Before the villagers go to war, one of the leaders of the warrior chant on the top of the hill to get prepared and invites the man folks to come to wage war with the enemies. Sometime on the way, the villagers are attacked suddenly by their enemies who appears from the forest. During the confrontation, the mighty villagers resisted the enemies and overpowered them by shouting and chanting singing victory song and finally chop the enemy's head. Cutting the enemy's head was a big achievement among the villagers.
By singing the song of victory over the enemies, they take the head home and hang all the heads on this skull tree. There is an oral tradition that if anyone from the village happens to cut any branch of the skull tree, the whole villagers will be affected in common coughs. <laughs> Hunting wild animals was a major traditional practice of the villagers where the groups of warriors go to the jungle to hunt the animals for their food. First of all, initial rituals will be performed by the leader of the group, whether they could find out the animal. After a day long hunt, if the animal is killed, the main killer of animal will be given the hat and he will take home and give it to the oldest man in the clan. All the man folk from the same clan will come to the oldest man's house and bring the food without curry and in the evening they come together and have the cooked animal's head, which shows a sign of respect and sharing in the family. Very interestingly, in those days, the villagers come together, especially on holidays, which after a long working day in the field, to cut their hair short in round shape, which is a traditional cut for a handsome look. Traditional materials which they use are sharp handmade dough and a big wooden mad handle. After cutting their hair, the men folk begin to challenge each other and fight amongst themselves by way of pulling each other's leg in a wrestling style. To win the game, one has to be strong enough to resist the opponent, which is also considered to be a traditional sport. There are some important traditional practices by the villagers. like top spinning, spear kicking, wrestling, and cockfight competition. In top spinning, the men fall gathered together to compete 
against each other, of which the longest spinner is chosen as the winner, spinning unique sound, beautifully ready to win. Traditional wooden handmade car racing, which is also a part of an entertainment for the children, mostly played by small boys. In the process, the boys go to the upper side of the ground and drives down to the lower ground. Cock fighting is also a competition where they kick each other with their feet, pushing one another. The person who endures till the last is considered to be the winner, which is considered as traditional sports. Also important rituals which are traditionally practiced by older men who has the power of witchcraft. When someone in the village gets seriously ill, the man who practices witchcraft go to the secret place outside the village pleading to God of forefathers. That is the sun god, the moon god, to accept his request to deliver the soul of the sick person. This is done by sending off a white chicken believing that this ritual practice brings back the soul of a sick person and finally gets healed. The most important part of this documentary, Nihli, is to preserve the miracle of bringing Ahakutsukha by Sri Let Lukhaje Kibami of Pisami village, who was a great warrior and a wizard. One day, after a prolonged practice of ritual, he saw a ring tie circled beautifully placed near him under the craft basket which was presented by angels from above. He took it and showed it to his villagers which later became a very important traditional headwear by Sulimi Totimi in Nagaland today. Then <laughs> Celebrating festivals is very important amongst the Naga villagers from generation to generation, which during festivals like traditional fire making by men folks, where our forefathers practice at home and in the field without any technical support. Folk dance, folklore, 
Folk song. And a big festival feast are the major practices in the village. <laughs>